Show us your fucking James Bond skills and hang draft down. I walked with this already. Right. It's a, it's a collapse as well. Yeah. <laughs> right what the fuck is this? I don't know. <laughs> what? Let's squish it. It's like roofing material. So you're just gonna go. So I was already up this one. Alright, so you're some like random yep. clothes and shit up here. We, I, we should probably like space out a little bit. Yeah, you go first. One at a time. So we, don't, so we don't collapse. I mean, yeah. yeah. Again, the goal is not to end up in the basement. Woo. Oh, that stair definitely fucking squished down when I stepped on it. Yeah, do some weight. Maybe, Working on it. I think it. you can get pretty much every unit from here. It's gonna be worth getting. Excuse me. Pop the light in here. I'm not going in there. We're in the back here. Why? Nah, just pop up. Right. You serious? We'll come down. Just check that unit out. This one's all rotted. Don't go in there. Yeah, there's still a lot over there. This shit's going to collapse. positive. I mean... What's up, buddy? Hello. <laughs> Where is this? I came running in. I was behind you guys. I was really inside myself. It's probably the <laughs> So you gotta be careful because this is gonna be the floor of the rod surge because you gotta go. The water's gotta go down through Uh, it's uh, starting to get a little uneven in here. There you go. I got that room without even having to go in there. Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's fucked. The floor is all, uh, it's, it's like dropped. It's not like rolling like normal hardwood wood. Can you get swat? So much goddamn broken glass. Well, I mean, it's broken at the end. Probably skip the balcony. I mean, they even took the door off handles and shit to screw up them. I'm not going in there. There's white shit all over that room. <laughs> yeah, as long as you can just do one of those ones. Yeah. It's like, uh, some Maybe people were sleeping. Way. Well, I say we go back around the other way, because, uh, I don't feel like stepping on someone's shit. You don't want to pop in there? Feel free to, Derek. I'll wait here. No. <laughs> Megatron Happy Meal, bro? Huh? Hello. Housekeeping. Yeah. <laughs> There's a wood floor? That must have been an apartment unit, huh? Probably. Mm. Uh, when, when was this shit built? Damn, all the concrete's all rickety and... I don't think you're going to find a lot of panels and furnaces. Yeah, that's probably a good bet. Also, uh, you should probably have masks on. <coughs> First. Yeah, I'm following Vince because he's got light. Right. Like a bitch, that means There's a cat. Got it. Found the cat. Oh no. Another one? No, that one's even more decomposed, dude. Where? 
You'll, you'll see it. Uh, you go. You want to go uh, get a close up? This floor is really buckled. Oh. I don't know if it's. Oh, that's not good. Oh fuck! How is the floor buckling if we're in the fucking basement? Derek, I don't know how the fuck you wear shorts to this shit. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was like thinking about it, like, damn, I should have worn long pants. Oh, wait, hold this. I need, I need to get it. Only thing that's touched me is those plants out there. Scare around. Is it a dead cat? It is. That's fucked up, man. It's like, uh, that's mummified. Super fucked yeah, it's been up. Here a while. You should pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So no. You're about to do. I'll, uh, I'll no. pass on that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck. Are you, uh, I'm here. I forgot how to use that. Check out that room because the walls. You forgot how to use what, the camera? Yeah, I forgot how to angle it up. Oh, look at that. They put a carpet on the wall. Carpet on the wall? Sick. Why is that anything good in there? Here's just stuff. Carpet on the wall. Cause that, I wonder if that cat just couldn't find its way out or what the fuck. Oh, every fucking window's broken. Right. There's not really any way out of the basement though. Someone killed the cat. You think so? I don't know. I'm making up my own story. Dude, that's crazy. Its skin is like leather. Yeah. You guys gonna go through there? Like if you fucking hit it with something, it'd probably just turn to dust. Yeah, it'll just crumble. It's like an Indian jump, Jimmy. Let's get some pictures before Gary gets carved in. You get all the pictures out in there? No. I'd say get a couple of cat in the room and just call it a day, maybe get one in here. I fix ugly. <laughs> I fix ugly, that's great. That's a great that's a great name for a barbershop. I like that. That's awesome. That's that's pretty good marketing right there. Good. It's gonna be on the left now. Watch out for this kid. Oh. What's up, dog? Just standing in the street. Yeah, why the fuck is that motherfucker sitting right there? Just get some light. You know, it's just a pretty brutal, brutal looking house. I like they got the no trespassing sign though, because, you know, obviously <laughs> somebody wants to break into that motherfucker. I think people are breaking out of that son of a bitch than breaking into it, man. Shit. See all kinds of stuff in Cleveland, man. The old garbage bag over the window, broken window special. Everybody's looking for the Sasquatch, man. They didn't know. He's actually in the Cleveland ghetto, dude. <laughs> They're looking in all these mountain ranges and shit. Dude, he's just been chilling in the hood in Cleveland, y'all. I remember when uh, we took this house over. This house right here, we got this particular house way back in like 2014. And I remember the dude who lived across the street. Uh, he lived in this house right here. Looks like he don't live there anymore. He's moving now. But he was fucking pissed. You know, he was one of those guys that blames landlords uh, like Holton Wise for all the blight or all the issues uh, of the city, right? Like, it must all 100% be our fault. So when we took that house over, I remember, man, he got pissed. And, uh... I, I don't have proof, so I guess I can't say for sure. Uh, but somebody, after uh, I was down here one time, uh, that was back when the company was a lot smaller, and uh, I was doing all the tenant leasing, and I was down here one time, and me and him had some, some words. It didn't, uh, you know, it wasn't a friendly conversation, we'll just say that, but that night, a uh, big old boulder got thrown through the fucking window at that blue house right there, so I don't know. I've always felt it was him. But, uh, you know, I don't have any evidence or anything of that nature, but if it quacks like a duck, fuck that motherfucker. Got some scrappers right here. What people don't understand is those guys will follow the Cleveland bailiffs around. And uh, if you get your stuff thrown on the lawn to an eviction, they will take it all. And that is their job. This apartment building that we have right there on the other side of the Sunoco right there. Yeah, that big apartment building right there. Freaking, that apartment building, I've had that in the portfolio, I don't know, I think I've owned that for like eight, maybe nine years now. And today, as I talk to you in 2022, 
Uh, that, that apartment building is making me some good money. It's stabilized. We have a bunch of CMHA tenants in there. It's, it's not too bad. But, dude, we did have a serious, serious fucking hell of a time getting that thing stabilized, man. At one point, right after we got it, uh, there was somebody running a fucking prostitution not ring, I guess I should say more like a brothel, right? They were running one of the apartments uh, as a brothel. They would just fucking party uh, all night till like 8 in the morning and just John after John after John would come in and dude, they would cause such a fucking ruckus. All the other tenants, uh, you know, obviously couldn't, couldn't keep the other units friggin' occupied until we were able to get those fuckers out. Uh, and, you know, sometimes they make it difficult to evict people for things like noise complaints and, and things of that nature. So at one point, like, it's just not as fast and quick and simple and easy as a non-pay eviction, right? Actually evicting people for, like, lease violations, even though they are paying their rent, it's, it's by no means uh, a quick and easy process, folks. So if you were under the impression that somebody could violate your lease, uh, one of the terms you have in your lease, and then, like, you get to just toss them out of your apartment like that it doesn't work ohio's a pretty landlord friendly state but it's it's still not that simple right if they don't pay rent that's that's the quickest and easiest way uh, but if they are paying rent it's kind of an uphill battle uh and usually you got to go to court a couple times to actually get people like that out right so we take over this freaking apartment building man and we got these freaking hookers and this brothel and these fucking crazy drug fueled parties man such a mess at one point it was so bad uh before we were able to actually evict these people which we did evict a victim eventually we eventually got them out but we had to actually pay uh off-duty police officers to come and just work third shift security for us little tiny apartment building but the only way we could keep the chaos from just like exploding to an untenable level uh was we would pay somebody they would come in at like seven o'clock at night and work till like eight in the morning and uh, they would just post up, put a chair right in the hallway, and, and just keep a handle on things so we can get those people out of there. <laughs> That's just some of the shit you got to deal with uh, when you're buying rentals in the ghetto. Not a lot of people tell you that. Not a lot of people say, hey, you can buy this apartment building, but watch out that somebody doesn't run a whorehouse out of it. That's going to be a problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.